And it's why I got really mad. Nike completely robbed Caitlin Clark when they signed her to this new shoe deal. Like I get it. Was it 28 million, 26 million for eight years? Oh my God, so much money, whatever. Look how long that contract is. Eight years. Caitlin Clark will be in her 30s by the time she gets another contract. I'm saying this because Nike knows this as well. Why do you think they gave her an eight-year contract? Because they know that in four years, that contract will look like a Jalen Brunson contract. That contract will look like a Steph Curry contract on steroids. Caitlin Clark, if she stays healthy, is about to become arguably the most iconic female athlete in the history of our country. She is going to sell shoes and it has already been proven that shoes can be sold to even little boys and stuff with Sabrina and um, Stewie and all that. Like Again, women's sports are here and I don't think people realize that and everyone's celebrating. I think Caitlin Clark got robbed. Absolutely robbed, especially because the majority of her money made is made from Nike. These these women don't work for the WNBA; they work for the brands they've signed with. That's a fact. I think she still has the greatest, the biggest WNBA contract of all time. She's making more than the rest of the league combined with that. I don't know how many, I th- but I do agree with you that it is yeah. about to blow up. But I think I just. I don't know how much I still think no matter what she's still going to be the most the highest play I, as long it's not like a lifetime it's not like the lifetime deal LeBron signed that's a, for a billion though yeah that's that's a but that's what I mean at that, that point for, like you making a billion dollars like you need more money I mean it sounds stupid to say but for her it's like does she need more like I guess she like in her field she's still leading like that's still the crazy that's still the craziest WNBA contract of yeah. all time what I'm saying it, it it is crazy now I'm saying four years from now it is going to be the deal of a century because she's going to have her signature shoe come out soon that's eight signature shoes she's not going to get another contract until she gets the Caitlin Clark nine yeah that is crazy you know what I mean and maybe the royalties are different I, sh- again we live in New York City. There's homeless people outside. There are people hurting more in this country. I get it. Than Caitlin Clark's signing. But I'm just saying, if you're talking about business-wise, I think that this K- Caitlin Clark Nike deal shouldn't be celebrated, really. I think that the only deal she got that was really good was the Under Armour one. And they knew it. They gave her good money. It yeah. was like 16 mil, four years. Four years about the contract he signed, if I'm Caitlin Clark. And I want less if I'm Caitlin. I want three. I want three million, five million a year. No, three years, five mil a year. That's the contract Caitlin Clark should have got in my eyes. But that's a lot of money. And she's going to generate a lot of money is what I'm saying. That's why I started off the preface with women's back. Because think about it. You have women's sports, but we know in basketball, the players themselves are marketed more than even the team. So if you are a brand or you like Nike, whatever, able to associate yourself with one of the players, that's even better than being associated with the team. And you know, the WNBA is going to thrive because they're the only major women's sports league that has complete backing from another major male sports league. The NBA is not going to let the WNBA fall. I think it's a no brainer situation. If you have money to invest, you invest into women's sports now, no matter who you are and you will make your money back. Yeah, that's, that's definitely for sure. I also think that, Caitlin Clark in particular is a big part of that. Yeah, for sure. I think one of the biggest. Without her, this I obviously I think the trend of women's sports has been happening for the last couple of years, but it's been a 15 years in the making too. Like I remember when we were younger, we saw like kind of the seeds being set for what's coming yeah. about now, you know, like more emphasis, more training, more, you know, just an equal approach to it to be honest. Yeah, I think and I don't think it's any coincidence that it's basketball women's basketball i no. think I, the best that, sport in the world i think no i think for real it's like i th- i think it's the, we've talked about this before i think it's the most human sport i think it is the best uh it's the perfect combination of strength speed agility endurance and uh skill i think that allows for every single type of person to be able to play basketball Especially in the women's league where there isn't all these high flying athletes and these dunkers. A lot of it just comes down to your skill. So she's what, six foot, which is very tall for a woman. But giant. Yeah, she's six foot, which as 
on her team, she's probably mid. She's mid sized on her team. Like she's not. Not crazy. Overwhelmingly tall. athletic, but it's but just big, the big women are like six foot. What I mean, like you call a big man. Yeah, equal yeah. opportunity out here. Big women, big women, y'all, big women out there. Yeah, y'all, big women in the WNBA be like six four, yeah. six five. You know, the taller ones love to stay in Russia. But yeah, that was bad. That's that's wild. I just think that the. This, this is really I, I, this is really about to pop off for the WNBA and stuff. Who, who do you think is gonna be get a bet? Do you think anyone's gonna get a better deal than that? Yeah, in I the think, next eight years. Yeah, I think Juju is gonna get a better deal. I think if there's a woman that's placed to really win, it's Juju for USC. I think her game is really fun to watch. The way she moves, it just it's aesthetically pleasing. She's dominating for a brand that is iconic. The USC is an iconic school. Yeah. And I think that by the time she's done in college, she'll, she, she's going to stay in college. They make more money in college pretty much mm-hmm. than even the WNBA sometimes. Because especially with NIL deals nowadays. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And there's just like people like college sports like that. I mean, we'll get into that in a second with college football 25 coming out. But mm-hmm. um, 25... Because these all colleges also they tap into the fan base. Like the reason she w- was so prolific is because she tapped into the Iowa fan base. So right away she's like their hometown hero. She's from Iowa. Yeah, she's has. Yeah, that this, is crazy. That she ended up going to Indiana, which I know is in Iowa, it's still such an eye. But it's the same shit. Corn, bro. middle of the country eye. Like come on, it takes three hours to get anywhere. It take like y'all yeah. both drink cream and coke. You know. Yeah, it's the same shit. Breathe like this. <laughs> like you, Look, Caitlin. I have one and a half lungs. One I'm a, you have one and a half nostrils too. Yeah. You, know, you good at slurping like that? You just a slurp man? That was actually. I show people John. Let people hear how you slurp it up. Go, come on. Ah, that was. 